told you this a long, long time ago. He's trying to get Jesus to do something and give him something he already has. He's already the King of Kings. He's already the Lord of Lords. He's already the Prince of Peace. He already rules and has dominion over everything. Let me tell you, when Jesus died on the cross, he died of his own free will. He died because he loved you and me. He had the authority and he had the power to call 10,000 angels to set him free and destroy this planet. But he didn't. He died alone for you and me. And there's a great song about that because it's a great truth that we need to carry in our spirit and our soul. That Jesus is the real deal. He's not fake. He's not some kind of heading. He's not some kind of letterhead. He's not some kind of uh, process that we try to make up. Jesus is the Son of God. He's the authentic Son of God. He went to the cross and he died for our sins. And he went to the grave and he conquered every bit of it just like he withstood the temptations of the devil. And he did that because he has power. He has authority. And the devil didn't have to give him anything. He already had it. And the thing about it is we already have it. It lives in our heart and in our soul for those who possess and have chosen Jesus Christ. And how many times do we let the world try to sell us a bill of goods and trying to tell us that we're going to, they're going to give us something that we already have. Peace, security, care. We already have as Christian people. We just need to live it out. We just need to live it out. Jesus was tempted because we faced temptations. 1 Corinthians 13 says this, and I love, I love this scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says this, No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way so that you can stand up underneath it. 